There are approximately 2.38 billion Christians worldwide. And a lot of them say the same thing. There's a man in the sky that you should fear. There's a man in the sky that is going to judge you. And there's a man in the sky that is going to condemn you to hell. But there is a solution, and the solution is in this book. If you follow, read, and do as they say, you will be saved. Now, Jesus has something to say about who God actually is. Luke 17, 20 to 21 says, Once being asked when the kingdom of God will come, Jesus replied, The kingdom of God is not something that can be observed, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is in your midst. Church is God. It's an emperor because they believe in hierarchy. And the reason they believe in hierarchy is because they follow the devil's path. They think God is here, Jesus is here, and we are down here. We are below. They believe in hierarchy. And look where hierarchy has gotten us in this world. Or financial problems, people hating each other, race problems. We have problems because we think that this world functions in hierarchy, but actually functions very differently because we are all equal. And when we speak about the real God, you're gonna realize that there is no man in the sky, Jesus is not the Lord, and we are all the sons of God. Now, Christian's God, the man in the sky, judges you, hates you, condemns you, creates rules for you to follow as though he is your emperor. And if you don't follow those rules, you're going to hell. Hey, hey, by the way, if you're an atheist, hey, shout out to my coach Mike. If you're a Buddhist, Hindu, Taoist, anything but a Christian, too bad. God created hell for you too. It doesn't matter what you believe because Christians have the answer and everywhere else is just wrong. Now let's make sense of who God actually is. Sodius says that Moses asked God, God, what's your name? God didn't say I'm God, the creator of the world, the person who created you, tall, strong, perfect. God said, I am who I am. I am who I am. You see, God doesn't operate through duality, good or bad, up or down, black and white. God is everything. God is who he is. And the Bible says everything in existence comes from God. So I would suggest that God is not separate from anything. God has no labels. God is not tall or short. God is not strong or amazing or weak. God is what he is. He is everything. You see, when you listen to the devil, to the eagle, then you create this sense of separation as though God is separate from you. But that's impossible for God to be separate from you because science says energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Science also says that everything is energy. The entire universe is energy. Your energy, your soul is energy, your body is energy, this house, the camera, your phone, your computer, everything in existence is energy. So nothing was created. Everything went from one state of being to another state of being. God didn't create us in the way that you're being taught in your church as as though we are separate from God, as though we were created from thin air because energy cannot be created and destroyed, we went from one state of being to another state of being. We went from the void to being humans. God went from being nothing to being everything. Sadly in love, you're being mistaught what God is. So that yourselves are God's temple and that God's spirits dwells in your midst. You see, this idea of separation, again, is coming from the devil, and that was coming out of church. There's no separation between you and the divine. Everything around you gives you clues on how the universe operates. But let's use Mother Earth as an example. Mother Earth is a direct representation of God. Everything that you have comes from Mother Earth. Camera, this shirt, oops. Everything in existence, the air that you're breathing, the food that you're eating, your knowledge, everything comes from Mother Earth. And in the same way, everything comes from God. Now, I have this phone in my hand, which we label as a phone. Now, you might say that it's separate from Earth, but this is Earth. Everything that you see is Earth. You see this shirt, it's a button down, it's a polo. It's navy blue, it's ugly, it's beautiful. Labels, 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 labels. But God doesn't operate through labels because God is what he is. That is of the devil. That is your ego speaking. That's not God speaking. So when they say there's a man on the sky that is going to judge all your actions and condemn you to hell, 
They're listening, hello, to the ego. They're not listening to God. God is all loving. God is inside everything and anything. Nothing in creation was created without God's body. Let me give you an example. You can think of God as ourselves. We are God's cells. There's no separation between you and God. You are the wave and God is the ocean. But if you're the wave, you're also the ocean. Because without the ocean, there is no wave. Without God, there is no you. Last but not least, know that if you have committed a crime, that if you're LGBTQ, that if you hate me, if you hate other people, it's okay. You're not going to hell. To a remote location that you're going to be there forever. We are done with the fairy tales and it's time to expose the truth. And the truth is not coming from your church. The truth is coming from within because that's where God lies. The kingdom of heaven is within you. And God has the answers to all of our problems. If you think differently, let me know in the comments. Like, share, and subscribe. See you guys next time.